Taitung and Nanjing, China. Together, rolling with enthusiasm inside the arena of battle. Together, making history to become the true legend of Crossfire. I'm Jonathan X MSX Holland. I'm from North America on the team Carbon, and uh, I've been playing professionally for five years since 2013. And my position on the team is team captain. I'm Fleach. I'm from Colombia. I have been playing Crossfire like eight years ago. In the team, I have the role to manage my team, and I'm attacker too. Hi. Oi, meu nome é Daniel. Eu jogo profissional há dois anos. Sou suporte da Black Dragons e estou representando o Brasil. How I started playing back in 2013 professionally uh, was pretty funny because I was playing with a group of my friends at first and we were just playing in the pro league and we weren't expecting to win, we were just having fun. And I was just dominating everybody. So the number one team back then was Carbon actually. And uh, they were just looking at me and they were like, wow, this guy has you know, the best, I don't know, stats, just statistics in the, in the pro league. And we were looking for one, we wanna make sure that we secure the, the Crossfire Stars spot for that year. Uh, the number one place in North America for Crossfire Stars. And uh, so they picked me up in order to secure that. I knew all this game in 2012 because all my friends played that. So also I, I want to play that and that's my favorite game since eight years ago. Um, at the beginning this game was a hobby, but later I want to be a professional. That's why you have to be dedicated and disciplined and love for play. Love for play this game and uh, meet a lot of people who, who is good in the game because I learned a lot of things all another people too. A coisa mais louca que eu fiz foi quando há dois anos atrás eu decidi sair do quartel, que era uma vida que eu tinha que eu podia seguir carreira militar e era uma certeza na minha vida para poder me dedicar ao crossfire. Eu servi ao exército brasileiro. Aí eu saí do exército para jogar crossfire profissional. No Brasil a gente tem um campeonato que, que se chama Liga de Acesso. Quando você vence você se torna um profissional, começa a jogar com os times mais fortes. E no final de 2016 eu joguei esse campeonato junto com o Viana, atual capitão da Black Dragons, e a gente conseguiu vencer. E foi aí que eu comecei minha jornada como profissional. At the beginning, when I started to play, my mom was disagree because I played crossfire. But later, when I started to to travel, to win, to to, to increase my, my popularity in this game, she agrees now. Yes, and she is very happy because I play cross -price. Foi uma decisão muito difícil porque na época eu fazia faculdade e eu pagava a faculdade com um dinheiro do, do exército. Então meio que foi um choque para eles, mas eu tinha confiança em mim mesmo que tudo ia dar certo e eu batalhei pelo meu sonho. E graças a Deus, desde então eu tenho, eu tenho conseguido bons frutos. That's a decision. So even back when I dropped out of college in 2013, my, my mother, because I only have a, a, my father's out of the picture, so my mother, um, she was still supportive of me. But she wasn't too happy that I did that, you know, but she was still supportive. She said, you know, you go do what you want to do. Um, and if it doesn't work out, you come back and you go to college. So I would say two things that Crossfire has really done for me that I appreciate. Number one is it satisfied my competitive spirit, um, where I'm al I've always enjoyed just competing and trying to be the best in something, and Crossfire has done that for me, and I love it. And the number two thing is I've always loved to perform for people and, and you know impress people and gain fans and things like this. Just be popular. It, it's always something that makes me happy, and so I love all my fans. The most important skills in the game are communication, uh, group, uh, accuracy. Uh, work team, uh, that's it. If, if my team have it, we can win all this time. Eu acho que o Crossfire me deu muita coisa, porque eu fiz 21 anos já e eu não esperava que eu pudesse viver tanta coisa que o Crossfire me trouxe. Como, por exemplo, conhecer a China, morar na China, conhecer outros países do mundo e conhecer pessoas novas também. Então, eu acho que eu, eu sou muito grato a Deus por ter, por ter conhecido o Crossfire e por estar onde eu estou hoje. I'm very thankful with this game because it gave me the opportunity to to meet new friends, to meet new places, and completely changed my life.
thank you for. Eu queria agradecer ao jogo é, por tudo que me proporcionou e dizer parabéns. É, apesar do jogo estar tá há muito tempo, o jogo sempre foi muito bom e eu espero sempre que continue melhorando. Um, thank you for providing me the opportunity to go on all these trips. I love coming to China and I just I love playing at these tournaments and it's just it, it's me, it means the world to me. Um, and also thank you to Crossfire for providing so much fun for me and my friends. There's so many things for us to do. We have late nights, laughing, you know, eating good food, uh, drinking, playing some Crossfire. It's just it's been great. Thank you, Crossfire. Hello and welcome back to Tai Chang in China. It's day number two here at CFS 2018. I'm here with Jordan and with Ian. Gentlemen, we are one game through our lower bracket finals. We've qualified yet another team through to tomorrow's quarters. This one, Ru Legends going up against Boss from Vietnam. Now, whoever wins this match has probably one of the hardest runs 
through the rest of the tournament because they're guaranteed to go up against the Chinese team in one of the quarterfinals. They can't go up against Carbon. Yep. They're in their group. And right now, this is an interesting one for me, Jordan, because both of these teams are in this position because they lost to Carbon 10 and 8. Yeah, definitely uh, a lot of storylines between the two teams. I mean, this match, uh, I'm expecting to be quite a close one. Mm. Every single match today kind of feels like a pretty close one. And I yeah. think that is because we're getting into the more sort of nitty gritty stages of the, the tournament. Of it. It's what you would expect to see, right? But yeah, uh, yeah. everything so far has been pretty good. Rue Legends started off fantastically against Jake Asav, the 10 0. We talked about that maybe being a, a bit of a tell-all as to how the rest of their tournament is yeah. going to go. Yeah. I mean, it, it didn't quite go that way, unfortunately, against Carbon. So no, maybe no. a little bit surprising, actually, to see IU Legends in this position. We thought that they might go through as the first seed from this group, uh, but now they're still fighting off for that position. Yeah, it's an interesting place to be in. Both teams losing to Carbon. Both mm. game teams getting a bit of a free ride, a free pass through Jacob Sav, and now they come head-to-head -head here in, and it yeah. really comes down to, to be fair, this is how it should play out. It, it's up to them to... To, to beat their opponents and come on through. Yeah, absolutely. I think there's a lot of pressure on RU Legends as well, being uh, touted as one of the best European teams. Uh, up against Boss, who uh, also being touted as the best Vietnamese team. You know, yeah, yeah. Apparently living under every team's shadow despite outperforming them all year. So, uh, yeah, a lot to prove for both of these teams. And uh, I think, look, the way I saw uh, RU Legends play against Carbon, I thought they were very unfortunate not to come away with the win there. So I, while the score lines look a bit the same, I still think RU Legends on paper look like yeah. the better team. Yeah, and I guess that's a good point you make about Ava Team as well. Ava Team really hasn't performed nearly as well as we no. expected them to here, now eliminated from the competition. So it is time for perhaps uh, another team from Vietnam to step up and, 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 and give the world a show of just how good Vietnam can be at Crossfire. Yeah, exactly. I mean, obviously you're playing for the hopes of your nation at this yeah. point. Uh, are you legends the only ones uh, representing Russia as they have in the past couple of years? Last year I thought that they looked pretty good, but everyone's sort of been saying this is going to be the year of, of are you legends or it yeah. is the year of are you legends. And if they don't make it work now, then when are they actually going to make it work? Who is it from this team we're looking at in this game, Jordan? Uh, on, from are you legends? Yeah, correct. I definitely think it's Treek. Uh, yeah. I said sort of last year or coming through from last year, he was my guy to watch and he started off this tournament with a 1v4, Ben. So you can't really ask for much more from that. The, in the, the one round that it looked like yeah. uh, that Jack and Zeb were actually going exactly, to win exactly. against them. Yeah. Uh, and that sort of set the pace for the rest of that map. So uh, in that other ma in that match against Jack and Zeb, I also thought Vice was pretty impressive. Uh, so for me, Vice and Treek, I think, are the two that I'd really be looking at. Stray, obviously, the new player in the team or at least from last year, uh, he is the change-up. Uh, also, you kind of want to keep your eye on him and see how he performs here on the, the big stage, really. If we take a look at Stray, he went 11-6 uh, and six in his game up against Jacob Sab yesterday. So that's not, a, I, I guess, a, a bad result considering, though. I feel like the you can't take game. too much from that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Up against Carbon, 12-13. and 13. To be fair, if you can go one for one in a game that you lose up against the, uh, one of the best teams in the world, I think... Honestly, he, he's kind of uh, so far proved himself. Here. Well, here, here's the thing. I mean, look, across the board, RU Legends performed individually very well against Carbon. There was no real standout. Drace, their probably worst performer, with 10 kills, 14 deaths. And that, even that's not bad, yeah. in my opinion. Uh, and, you know, so that just goes to show, look, they lost by a, a, a small margin. Uh, they're all playing very, fairly well individually. Maybe, the you know, the bomb plants or whatnot got, not going in their favor. But yeah. Okay. For me, I think the thing is, right, for RU Legends, so you say they all played pretty comfortably across the board. Mm. That's fine, but the, the problem was no Superman. Standout. No yep. stand out there for RU Legends, and there certainly was for Carbon exactly. with, with Superman going 21 and 12. So you kind of needed that, I think, to get over they, they Carbon. Eat, like, uh, yeah, you look across the fence. You got Superman 21 and 12, and then you had Michael with 6 and 14. Yep. So, yeah, definitely, uh, you know, a team effort there up against an individual effort, which is yeah. not what you yeah. like, you know, not the story they tell you in all the uh, the coaching camps. As we head across to their opponents from Vietnam, Boss, if you go and look at the stats from the same match up against Carbon for Boss, yep. they actually all played relatively well Again, as well. across the board. But Kale there coming out with a positive KDR, coming out with 15 frags and 14 deaths. But other than that, uh, no, no standouts, but no one letting the team down either. And I think that's uh, a great representation of how close both those 10-8s were. 10-8s mm. that could have gone either way. If it was not for an individual effort from some of the Carbon players. So in that game, it wasn't Superman, but instead it was Famous, you know, getting the 18 kills. So uh, you look at the way these two games went against Carbon, sure, they were, both teams went relatively well, right? Yep. But if I was to match these two teams up against each other, 
Uh, you know, for me at the moment, RU Legends comes out on top. What is it about them that makes you feel that they are the team to beat in this matchup? I mean, look, that, that's a tough question. But, I mean, I just saw the way that they dealt with uh, Jake Asav on their first day. I felt like that was really a commanding performance from them and, and really locked them out of the game, didn't they? And, I mean, if I was to see Boss up against Jake Asav, you know, <laughs> I don't think it would have been uh, uh, such a whitewash. So, Boss, look, I think they're a fantastic team, don't get me wrong. Obviously, coming in as the favourites from Vietnam. Uh, but RU Legends just look so composed. I think they'll be upset that they lost to Carbon. I think mm. that is that is an upset if you were to ask yeah, some okay. people. It, it, um, yeah, absolutely. But for Boss to lose to Carbon, it was maybe a little bit expected. Uh, so just on paper, uh, you know, I'm leaning towards RU Legends. I guess uh, the only other comparison is that match you talked about, Jack and Sam, up mm. against Boss. Boss yeah. going 10 and 4 as opposed to obviously the whitewash, which was 10 and 0 for RU Legends when they kicked off CFS 2018 at the start of yesterday. So that means that uh, the real Ian Sniper Turner is going to be putting one in the books for Rude Legends. What's the score going to yeah. be, Ian? Uh, I'm going to go for a 10-8 again, I think. All right. Look, it seems to be the theme, that's for sure. So I'm going to put you down for a 10-8. Also, I've been talking to Kyle a lot, and Kyle's like, oh, Rude Legends are pretty good, you know, yada, yada, yada in American voice. So yeah. look, fr freedom Kyle, all the way. <laughs> Kyle has been... Uh, Look, I think that actually my predictions have been quite good today based on the fact that I just did the opposite of what Kyle says. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the guy that knows really the most about Crossfire out of all of us. To be fair, he's got the stats, he's got the background knowledge, and obviously he knows the community very well, but um, there's not... always that X factor, right, yeah. of of, uh, of playing in an arena, of playing for, uh, you know, $500,000 in first place prizes. There's a lot up for grabs here. Um, so there's a, there's a little bit more that comes into it, I suppose. And, Plus, I probably just got a little bit lucky. Jordan, yeah. what's your prediction? Uh, I have to agree with Ian. Uh, RU Legends, in my eyes, definitely uh, the team to beat here. Boss, while they've been good, and I, I would be disappointed to see them go out this early, I think for either of these two teams, it would be very disappointing to see them go. But unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to one of them. Yeah. Uh, I do think RU Legends have got the experience, and they've also got the individuals that have higher peaks than what I've seen so far from Boss. Whether that maybe is because I haven't been able to see so much of yeah. Boss in the last couple of years uh, and have a bit more of a data pool to pull from uh, than from Rue Legends. Uh, but regardless, I think Rue Legends is definitely the stronger team in this matchup. I think it'll be reasonably comfortable actually for, for Rue Legends this way. Wow, I'm okay. going to say 10-6 uh, for RU Legends. 10-6, so I'm going to put that down, Jordan, for 10-6. That's mm. both of you going out there. Look, uh, I'm not going to say this just to be different. I'm going to say this because I genuinely believe it to be true. Yeah, that's definitely the case. I've got Boss picking this one up, boys, I okay. must admit. And uh, I think the team or... from Vietnam is going to play some pretty good crossfire. Mm. Not Our Legends is hard to, uh, you know, to, to push out. But mm. I, look, I can't help but sing maybe another 10-8. I agree with Ian with score. Yeah. They just uh, I mean, uh, it, a couple of those rounds going in anything, the opposite direction, right? Anything is in it at that point. I, I, I don't see a world where RU Legends smash this out, like 10-2. You know? I just don't no. see that. But uh, I do see a world where it's very close. RU Legends have a lead and maybe Boss do something to bring it back towards the end. But yeah, otherwise, uh, just going to lean towards RU Legends here just for that tenure and uh, being touted as one of the best European teams. The European teams seem to be doing pretty good in the loser bracket so far. So see how we go. Look, for me, with that experience, right, that, that Rue Legends has, if they were going to knock it out, they could have knocked it out in their previous game up against Carbon and it would have been all done and dusted, right? They would have yeah. come through and uh, top of their bracket, they wouldn't have to deal with one of the three Chinese teams. Maybe in went in just a little bit too confident, you know, after getting that 10-0 that no one else could get. They're yeah. the only team that's got one so far. Um, Probably you know, the only team to get one at all, I Well, now it's a bit yeah. late now, isn't yeah. it, really? Yeah, so... For me, yeah, look, either way, it's. Uh, I think no matter what, it should be a good game. It should be tight. Um, our last game was pretty pretty good as well, even though it was a 10-7. Uh, I think uh, at different points in time in that match, uh, things are pretty close. And this one, I suspect, I hope, is going to be no different here. A lot on the line, one of these teams going home. Yeah, well, looking at both of the RU Legends matches so far, or the most recent two, they've gone to 10-8, so you're definitely expecting them to be uh, particularly long-winded matches. Really, the only one that they did sort of smash off was Jake Asav, which is kind of an outlier, I feel, in this tournament. Yeah. Uh, Jake Asav certainly, uh, it is evident, based on the result that they've been able to put up, that they weren't quite up to the caliber of competition that yeah. the other teams were. I mean, even 10-4 against Boss, or from Boss against Jake Asav, was a very convincing victory. And, you know, the difference between 10-4 and 10-0, and it doesn't feel like so much, really. Obviously, on paper, it looks like quite a lot. Well, but, it's four rounds, But yeah. the, the simple fact of the matter is that both, both RU Legends and Boss really decimated Jake Neither Asav. Neither team 
team, neither Rue Legends or Boss at any time looked like they were in any position to lose the game, mm. right? They're, they're always in control, um, and, you know, it, it is what it is, I suppose. It, it I mean, you just, gotta, you just got to look back at that last game, right? And, and see how the scoreline was for that, and it just felt nowhere near as close as it was. So the scoreline really can be deceiving in these games because, uh, you know, there's no carry-on from the last round into yep. the next round. You can win and lose every round consecutively. Win, lose, win, lose, win, lose. Mm. And you just need to string a couple together and then go back to that win-lose streak and you'll win. That's it. It's the very nature of what this game is. Yep. And uh, uh, the, the enjoyment, I suppose, that comes out of knowing that teams can push through every single round. You, you play for the for the defuse on, on defense if you have to. Uh, there's nothing to lose at all. It's really just about what you can gain. And that's why it's actually so much fun to watch. I think we're just waiting for these teams to get ready and finalized into the server to kick this one off few noodles on that microphone. Yeah, yeah. he's uh, <laughs> keeping that one going, hasn't he? Yeah. Does like his, uh, his headset, for sure, for sure. <laughs> look, if we if we look through the rest of the day here, Execration and Black Dragons, INTZ versus Penta Sports, um, yeah. I think we can go back to what you said before, and the, the Brazilian teams have definitely shown that they're quite strong as well, stronger than perhaps some people getting for credit them. for. I think there's definitely been a better performance from the Brazilian teams than what we had from them last year. I think we came into last year's Grand Finals with some really large expectations yep. on the shoulders of particularly, obviously, Black Dragons mm. uh, after their result at the Invitational last year in Vietnam. But they weren't able to really uh, do another sort of performance like that. They weren't able to uh, perform to the same level that they did. And unfortunately, that meant that they got knocked out fairly early on in the piece. Um, both of them still here with a potential slot going into the quarterfinals. And I don't know, it feels like it would be maybe a bit of a cop-out if we didn't get either of those two Brazilian teams, but looking at the matches that they do actually have ahead of them, I almost feel like I'd be backing their opponents, Execration and Penta, respectively. Yeah, absolutely. I think, uh, to me, INTZ has been playing better of the two. If maybe it was INTZ up against Execration, yeah. I would more so lean towards that. But with Execration, yeah, it just... It just do it doesn't look like the next two games play in their favour. Exactly. I mean, look, I'm I'm quite heavily on the European hype train today. Uh, looking at Penta Sports in particular, I've basically said from day one that I think they're a team that can make it through to the top four, maybe even to the grand final, depending on how their quarterfinals matches do sort of play out and what uh, or who they end up going up against. Sorry, in the semi-finals, I should say. Yeah. Uh, but I, I definitely think that is a very strong-looking roster, and their performance against Super Valiant really reinforced that for me as well. Uh, but Interesting match against INTZ because both teams having a really, really close game against Super Valiant. So a lot of questions to be answered, I think, from both INTZ and Penta. And, and then again, it gets to the point where you say, it's such a shame that we actually have to say goodbye to one of those two teams coming out from Group D because it, it did look like such a strong group on paper and uh, would we'll just want to see more matches out of both of those two teams. Yeah, it's certainly the Group C and Group D, definitely difficult groups to be in, but and then again, when I look at Group B, I look at Rue Legends and Voss, I think, look, to be fair, both of these teams probably deserve to get out of their bracket. They they both, you know, if whichever team goes through to the quarterfinals still stands a chance. Yeah, well, obviously at this point, you know, best of one still in the quarterfinals, so anything can happen, really. Uh, for me, I, I did expect Rue Legends to come out from Group B in first place. I did expect Carbon to come out in second place. Um, so far, Carbon have assured themselves the place through into the, the quarterfinals. Uh, but that's not to say that Boss is necessarily going to struggle against Rue Legends today or, or vice versa. So uh, it's already a bit of a surprising group in my mind, based on what I at least thought was going to occur in this group. So who knows? Maybe it could be even more surprising. Maybe uh, Rue Legends misses out on a quarterfinals berth and gets knocked out in groups, which would be, I think, a, a massive shock to, to most people based on the form that are you legends have been displaying in the last year? Well, whichever team does go through, they'll definitely be putting a showing in uh, tomorrow's quarterfinals. For me, all of the teams who remain here at CFS 2018 have a shot at the championship, have a shot at that huge 500,000 USD first prize. Life-changing money for a number of these teams, mate. That would be life-changing money for me yeah. as well. But let's get into this game. It's Rue Legends up against Boss, the team from Russia up against the team from Vietnam. It is our lower bracket final from Group B. Let's see who makes it through to the quarterfinals. Yeah, one more chance for both of these two teams, RU Legends and Boss. Yeah, potential final map here going to be Ankara as we jump into our next loser's bracket final and everything on the line for both of these two teams. So disappointing 
to say goodbye to one of them, but uh, you know, I think it's going to be boss today. Wow. Yeah, I think so too. And uh, I'll be surprised, honestly, if it isn't. But at the same time, it'll be a pleasant surprise because you know, if IRU legends come in and there's a lot of talk surrounding them, and they don't they don't perform, then I'm glad you know, boss will be proving something uh, for Vietnam and you know, putting their name in lights. I know what it's like to be uh, forgotten about. Yeah, putting uh, ourselves once again back onto Ankara as is going to be the case for all of the lower bracket finals. Yeah, the devil of the day. Well, at least for four teams. Yep. And so far, Kowai being knocked out by Flipside in our last matchup here is the second of the lower bracket finals. Oh, Treek, this is very aggressive. Well, straight has gone down. Ali with a 2K in connector. Treek at least able to trade back Kale, and he is the guy to watch, I think, for IU Legends. Hexawar chiming in as well. And are you legends stabilizing back to a 3v3? Yeah, boss really doing a great job on the attack to get those entries. It's, it's on to Vice. He's on the ladder underneath actually the stairs and he'll be picked up by Rita. Too many players to have a look at. Another one spotted as XUR does trade back, but he's in trouble right now as well as he has wow. to deal with two players. Shady drops yep. him and now it's again on to Treek to clutch out. This time 1v2, not 1v4, but definitely doable still for Treek. He drops the bomb carrier. One might argue boss could have looked to plant that. He's very low HP though. Oh, gets caught on the corner. Just tagged up there a little bit as well, Ian. Yeah. Now he really is just uh, well, you could breathe on him and he'd fall over. Yeah, knows that that plant is going to be going down. Yeah, Lucas opting just to take it a little bit seriously here. Now Treek picks up this sniper. Now that's going to remove any HP oh. woes. Oh. And there you go. So that smart decision by Treek to just go back, get the sniper rifle, make the, uh, the HP difference uh, nullified. Yeah, maybe not quite as impressive as the 1v4 that IU Legend started off with against Jake. have courtesy of Treek, but he's been able to do it again. Yep. Clutching it out for his roster. Yep. Starting the game with a win, you know, that 1-0 for the momentum, for the confidence of your, your team going into the rest of the game. That, that's a big deal for IU Legends. That was a round they weren't supposed to win. Yeah, exactly. And boss, they don't want to let any more slip like that. Don't give IU Legends an inch, otherwise they'll take a mile. Shady very quickly. In on to IU Legends, but quickly the trades come back. Lucas able to take down Vice. Mixuar and Drace need to trade back here, but they won't be able to. They wow. run into Kale, watching the rotation and a much better round out from Boss. That's better execution. Yeah, definitely a lot better by Boss there. Very risky move by IU Legends, especially after that last round. But to go for a three-man push onto the A site early on in the game, trying to upset Boss's momentum, uh, it didn't really work out for them, unfortunately. And then a the little bit of over-commitment -com uh, from the boys at IU Legends. So setting up again, boss, a lot of territory very fast early on in the piece. Bit of pressure here. Well, XOR starts off better this time for IU Legends, but boss still managing to put in some work for now. Still a recontest from IU Legends. They wow, don't want to give up control of this position. Two players peeking in there. Kale will shut one down, and Trick also drops to the sniper of Lucas, who has been very impactful so far throughout this map. It's looking much better for Boss in this round, and IU Legends, perhaps they have met their match, they just get absolutely steamrolled. Wow, another easy round for Boss. I mean, IU Legends, you've got to give them credit for trying something, but uh, the way that this <laughs> match is going so far, they're just getting punished. Overcommitment to a T, and IU Legends putting all their eggs in the one basket there, and Boss just, again, doing the same thing every single round. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. More mid control from RU Legends than anything else, but they need to adapt to what Boss is doing because, again, they've left Stray alone on the A bomb site. And he has such a huge amount of work to do if Boss do end up pushing in here. Given the fact that they haven't been contested for the position that they're in, they're getting a lot of map control for free. RU Legends not doing a whole lot with it right now. Yeah. If Boss do push into that A bomb site, Definitely see a third round going their way. It's a really nice crossfire you've got here for RU Legends. That bait and switch that I talk about, working together as a team. You can see now it could all get come undone from Shady. Nerves of steel for XOR to be down there on that ramp. Here comes the A execute now. You can hear the Vietnamese getting ready for it. Well, straight. What can he do for us here? Wishing him the best of luck because this is definitely a task. Does get the grenade down, the flash to keep himself alive, backing away. That's smart. Headshot onto Shady. One is better than none, and so far, Stray 
Still has the opportunity to get more than just the single. Good flash in there from Boss. We'll keep him busy. At the moment, the bomb goes down, but Stray has done his job. Turned it into a 5v4 for the retake, and that makes life a lot easier for RU Legends. Risky decision to retake as a team here for RU Legends. All four players coming from this back alley. Xuar and Vice pushing into the site, but they're starting to run out of teammates. Vice goes and grabs Kale, but he's on to a one shot, and that timer is ticking away, so he has to move quickly, and he actually falls off oh. the edge and dies. Ouch. You hate to see it, Jordan. <laughs> Ali was looking up at the sky. There's no way he would have been able to see him. That's unfortunate indeed. Ooh. It happens, though. Yes, it does. And again, boss. Repeat. Rinse. Sleep. Oh, yeah, boss just out of the gate. Like absolute maniacs. Three and one against RU Legends right now. Terror for RU Legends, Stray. Wow, here we go. RU Legends getting very aggressive. Oh, Stray takes that shot. Now, may overstay his welcome just a little bit. Yeah, I think this is in retaliation to what Boss has been doing so far. Yep. I do not want to be giving up control of that area of the map, and this may yet funnel Boss into doing something new. Yeah, a bit of an interesting attempt, really, to, to have a take on the map where you push the enemy team completely off a bomb site, they stay back into their spawn. And then you think, well, they've got no choice but to be funneled over towards the B site, but nothing really ever comes of it. And now you're stuck in this sort of stalemate where you've got a lot of territory, they've got nothing. And this is where we saw Flipside were able to meticulously check the, the rest of the map out, clear every corner as a team without dropping too many numbers. A lot of discussion going on right now in the mm. boss camp, as you can hear. Yeah, this is unexpected by them. RU Legends have really thrown a spanner in the works. Just trying to figure out what they can actually do in response to this from RU Legends. Ali has started to progress a little bit in the middle, getting control of Pit, and Kale is there to help him out, but there's two RU Legends players here waiting and lurking. The double peek out from RU Legends, oh. but it goes much more favorably for Boss. A two-for-one trade, and that's exactly what they needed to get themselves back in the round. Yeah. And once again, defaulting back toward the A-bomb site now for Boss. So the rotate's going to come in from Vice. He has to hold the A-site almost single-handedly now because... Oh, you legends are very split up. They can't afford to take any risks and put all their eggs in one basket. Vice, the X-ray comes off and he gets two for his money. Almost spins around and gets the third there on the yeah, tail as yep, well. Yep. Kale has to retrieve the C4 now. 22 seconds left on the clock. That could become a factor. Most certainly could. Both of these RU Legends players are fairly close, but the bomb plan is going to be committed by Kale. The bomb goes down, but now he has two angles to deal with. Charging on forward, XLR had no oh, idea where he was, and Kale no. might be able to secure the 2v1. He does. And Boss with another round. RU Legends, they're just falling apart at the seams. Questionable decision making there by XLR, but nonetheless, perfect work there by Kale. Gets that positioning. He knew Trick was down below. Throws off the grenade. And he has that high position where he's able to do that will convert the one-on-one. -on -one. He has the favourable aim duel. Yeah, yep. Treak in this case may, but doesn't manage to land any of those. This is insane, Jordan. Insane flicks that we used to see from him from against Jacobs have at least. Just the these the risks continually coming up by your legends. When are they gonna give up? It's not working out for them. Well, well, in this round, they're up 4v3, but that's not to say that the round is going to be theirs, as Boss were able to pull themselves out of a bit of a hole in the last round and come away with a couple of double kills for two of their players to secure the win. But 4-1 and one did not expect it to be this one-sided for Boss to no. start things off. And the way that they've been winning the rounds, it's almost like RU Legends have been giving them up. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe RU Legends suffering under the pressure, a little bit of choke. Just a completely different play style coming out from RU Legends. And I'm not sure it's an efficient one. So sharp from Lucas, deleting yep. XOR off the map. Yep. XOR not having a great start. Yeah. He's been pretty important for RU Legends so far in their campaign. And really, the way that they're playing at the moment, very individualistic, and Boss are happy to take that. Yeah, they're taking it in their stride. Yeah, one thing I've always associated with the Vietnamese teams is strong aimers. But this time, Vice, a little bit too strong for RU Legends. Ali will get the trade, puts himself in a 1v2. Doable for him, that is for sure. Oh, RU Legends have already no. lost one 1v2 today. Stray from a hidden angle. 
And Halle not prepared for that. So oh, that's a sigh of relief for Prince RU Legends. Yeah. yeah. As you can see, they're going to have to claw their way back into this half. Even in a 1v2 situation, they have to play every cheeky little angle, every advantage that they can get. Boss is really pushing them at the moment. I think it might even be catching them up by a bit of surprise. Well, we'll have to wait and see as well to what Treat can get done on the uh, on the attacking side. We've spotted Treat, but not the other player in the vent there. However, both of IU legends pull back into the site. Yep. Boss very committed to the A site. Well, this is new, right? IU legends falling back. What is this? Maybe it will work out this new weird strategy that IU legends are implying. We shall see. Keeping five players alive late in the round obviously is going to be an advantage for IU Legends. Wow. More angles that Boss have to check on the entry. Well, you do have Exuar going on a bit of a splinter cell journey on his own, looking for information. And there you go. There's the call from the Vietnamese to take the site. As oh, through the flashbang, Kale is going to find Stray. Shady with a good entry as well onto Vice. You can see all of the flashes being thrown in there from both Boss and IU Legends. But it's worked out much more favorably for Boss once again. It just seems like IU Legends cannot stand up yep. to the firepower that Boss has got at the moment. It's a difficult retake as well for IU Legends at this point. They're going to be coming in from the outside of the A site toward the front as if they were on the attacking team. And well, you're just going to see how hard that is for them to deal with. Two on two situation, they get it back, but nice trade. a lot of pressure on Drace right now. Yeah, but Boss doing exactly what they need to, backing away and right. playing the 2v1. Such Which is not what we saw from IU Legends when they were trying to retake the site. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest, it looks like such a hard map to defend. You can understand why IU Legends are trying all these out there strategies for uh, trying to defend it. So that they don't get forced into the, you know these situations where they're constantly outnumbered. But still, Boss just look, making it look all too easy right now. As they open up the account again with Lucas and Shady. Nice trades back from X and Y on Vice, but now Vice's position is known. Shady throwing a grenade in his direction. Overall, 3v2. And Shady almost going down. Will eventually be finished off by Drace. Well, it's finally working out for RU Legends. The, uh, the aggression is going to put a stop to Boss. It'll be interesting to see if Boss continue to go toward A again at the start of the round. And also interesting to see if IU Legends yeah, they, try and put a stop to it They again. literally have not gone to B at all. No, well, now they will. I think the idea is now that B is looking pretty good. Exa was going to catch them out of the doors. Last round of the half. Boss changing things up. Two for two trade. Ooh. Shady with a pistol. Gets the better of Stray. And eventually, the final player for IU Legends pushing on through. Vice now in a 1v2. But Kale very low. If he gets the kill here onto Ali, definitely doable. And the headshot is... Thrown across there from Vice, who has been the standout performer for IU Legends so far in this match. Vice needs to get a wriggle on. He needs to go find a corner somewhere. He knows that the boss player could be running around all over the map. Kale definitely been the best performer for boss so far. And also Kale now retrieving that C4. He's going to be the one with the power. Very low HP. It'll be interesting to see what Vice does. Is he going to split the map in the middle? Just like we saw with Flipside, where they were happy to hold out. And retake the bomb site. Does get a lot, a lot of advantage to Kale. He'll be able to get the bomb down, get a good post plant position. Yeah, perhaps even push forward, try and wow. catch Vice off guard. I say that, but Vice is already here. Around the back. Looks like oh. Kale might have an idea. No, not checking the corner. Vice hasn't spotted him out, though. Look at this oh massive man. rotation from Kale. The ring around the rosy is so real right now, but it is not rosy. I wouldn't say it would be anything good. For RU Legends, it would be so hard for him oh, to predict this. checking every angle. He might get fine. Kale, and he does, just in time. A very long rotation across there from the boss player, but yep. it doesn't really result in too much. Well, you can, always, you can always go too far with that. You know, That's yeah. where the mind games, you've got to know when to call it. It almost would have worked out better for him if it would have taken a little longer because he wouldn't Absolutely. have been on that angle when Absolutely. it was checked. and comes across just maybe as the defuse. There's no way for out. him to know that though, Jordan. But yeah. the thing is, whenever you do those cheeky plays, you've got to understand when you've gone a little bit too far. And that is one because you, you've got to understand with, because they did the ring around the road, he doesn't know that Vice hasn't cleared that position yet. He's assuming that's where Vice came from. So why would he be looking there? And well, next thing you know, you see what happens. 
Oh, very even once again at the end of the first half, just as we saw between yeah. Flipside and Kawhi. Much needed round for RU Legends, to be Definitely. honest. Definitely. I mean, a 6-3 is far <laughs> greater than a 5-4 here for Boss. So I think it's still anyone's game at the moment. We've seen some good stuff out from both teams. Boss moving over onto the defensive side now. Yep. RU Legends throwing their utility early, maybe for a bit of a fake toward middle. The aggression coming out from Boss towards the A site, much like we saw from RU Legends. This A alley, if Lucas can get a quick pick and fall, he's going to overcommit. And punished for it, Treek chasing him down, Drace as well. Running no. straight out up onto the A bomb site, we'll get two. No, did you see that shot from Drace? That's insane. 2v3 though, as Ali's able to trade back onto Treek. But the bomb down, post plant, obviously favourable for RU Legends. Also been pretty good in those situations though, and Vice. Taking the first challenge, the charge in there Oof. from Shady gets the better of him. Sort of peak advantage working out well for Shady. Vice knows he's in trouble. That's a lot better from RU Legends. Yeah, here we go. Take that, Vietnam. <laughs> Giving him a bit of their own medicine. <laughs> Just sh screaming backwards and forwards across the stage at each yep. other. Yeah, I love it. I think Stray in the back there having a bit of a cheeky grin at that as well. Yeah, they know what's going on. I'd love to see a little bit more of that. Me too. Well, five apiece. RU Legends feeling like they're back in control now of this game. And Boss may be a little bit tilted, going for an aggression on the A site, not finding anything. The call will come out. RU Legends have full control of the middle of the map and find Reader on his own. Yeah, nice headshot, backed up by the flashbang from RU Legends. B site is fully in the control of RU Legends. We've seen this before. Fully in control. Vice does go down to Shady, but the bomb has been planted very early while well, still on the rotator cross, so that's going to cost them a little bit of time. Yep. Stray here with a big job to do and a great headshot onto Shady. Very sharp indeed. Traded back from Kale. Treek still sitting behind the boxes, playing safe for now. It's a very nice position for Ooh, him. Exua on the flank. Beautiful work. <laughs> And that is how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. When you come up against an opponent... That's very noisy. That's very noisy. And they, I don't think they always understand what it's like to be on the, on the other... The shoe is on the other foot. Yeah, right now. Three rounds in a row, actually, for RU Legends, that. Well, you don't want to make RU Legends mad. Looks like uh, that's the moral of the story. Certainly not. You don't want to make Drace mad either. He's just five and zero in this half so far. Yep. He's been an unstoppable machine. 134 damage per round as well, I think I saw just there. Easy. He's getting more than his fair share done for RU Legends. And he's paying dividends right now for them. Again, out into the A bomb site this time. Working again very well for RU Legends. Ali, the last line of defense for Boss, will shut one down. But overall, still even trades and RU Legends. It's being slowed down a little bit by the flashbangs, but inevitably they will press the attack. Vice, a one going down, but it does not matter as RU Legends. And another cheer. <laughs> yep, and it's working too, isn't it, Jordan? You can see ever since this sort of uh, banter across the tables has come out from RU Legends. Boss have just They've gone just into their shell. Exactly, and that is, that is what life is like. We call it karma, yep. but... I've been on the receiving end of that, maybe in the form of a harmonica, mm. but there is no sweeter sound than silence. Yeah, and that's exactly what RU Legends have forced upon Boss. Can hardly hear a word out of them at the moment. Silence yeah. is golden, as they say. Yeah. Drace did eventually go down in that round. Yeah, all in a day's work, though. <laughs> Stray, full control over the middle of the map, has the rotations. Makes a bit of noise now, trying to bait out a peek from Lucas. Very forward stance on the A site for Boss. Might catch RU Legends off guard. C4 in a fairly neutral territory. Could go either bomb site. Vice opting to leave it there, but also they have Exua on the flank, just waiting for that aggression out of A. Yeah, a lot of work being done into the B site right now by RU Legends, though. It's a bit of a contest over on the A side of things, though, yep. as Boss looking for some info, Ooh. pushing on forward. Will be shut down by Stray, at least getting rid of Exuar in response. Important kills here by Stray. Well, Vice and Trika, the ones that actually do manage to 
chime in there for RU Legends. That really opens the map up. But Ali comes around from behind and he gets three. Boss somehow managing to survive in the round. Vice needs to execute another 1v2 for his team. Well, this could just put some wind back in the sails of Boss. They're going to regroup together. And there you go. Easy kill for Shady. Finds XOR in the back. Yeah, Ali just unchecked. No noise this still, time from Boss. Still, yeah, Boss still remain quiet. Not game to take it back to RE Legends at the moment. RE Legends, if they do win this game, they won't have a voice for the next. Stray oh, pushing up through the smoke, yeah. Well, that forward stance did work out for Boss. I'm not sure where that all fell apart, to be honest, except for the fact that Ali just went absolutely massive. I don't know that Boss are going to be expecting the positions right now of RU Legends. Well, so seems so. like they do. I can see Lucas is coming across to Pop Flash from the A site. Four players on A, just shady toward B. If Stray was to find him early, who knows how this round could unfold. Treek now in the underpass with that sniper. Unable to open up a round so far, but they haven't really need to. Boss fully stacking this A site. Again, C4 left in a neutral territory. This could come back to hurt RE Legends. If they do get a pick onto the B site, the retake will be there before the bomb. And, of course, if the retake does involve Boss pushing through from the A site, well, that's going to put the end to Exua. And then, who knows, the position of Stray will become compromised. Oh, you legends are being very methodical, clearing everything. Yeah. Corner checked even there by Drace. So well, how, how often do you get to walk into a bomb site, Jordan? They'll be yeah. thinking something is definitely up. The bomb needs to get here ASAP, though. Shady will come back toward B. Spot out Treek, perhaps. This is such a great position for Treek to be able to play in long yep. angles with the sniper. As soon as that bomb does go down, boss are going to have a bit of a rude awakening for them. Pushing into a site, 5v5 is never going to be fun. Luckily, they've got a lot of utility to play with here to flash their way in. Yep. Throw a few grenades in the positions of RU Legends. Try and eat them out, but Lucas actually does get a long-range aim duel yeah, against Treek. Pre-fires Treek through the smoke. Very nicely done. Time getting away from Boss, though, but I do think this favours Boss. Well, at the moment, it certainly does, but there's only 17 seconds left, and all it takes is one RU Legends player to step up. That's going to be Vice. Four kills in the round for him, and another one for RU Legends. As they're now getting closer and closer to the quarterfinals. <laughs> They've also forgotten to banter back to Boss. Yeah. Maybe just shut them up a little bit enough to uh, not require that sort of uh, exacerbated scream. Such a huge round from RU Legends. Very important. Let's not get distracted here. He's probably got to command the troops as well. Exua on point, clearing out the, uh, the map with the team straight, holding this middle connector, looking for anyone pushed up by Boss. But again, Boss heavily guarded towards the A site. Perhaps waiting for a sign, perhaps waiting for... A reason just to, to push, to pounce onto RU Legends. Shady with a lot of responsibility here. Obviously, Boss have a lot of faith in that retake towards the B site. Well, Shady will drop. Nice entry for RU Legends. And again, it's toward the B bomb site that they will progress. Oh, this could be it right here. Another round for RU Legends at this rate if a replay of last was to happen. Yeah, they mean, have a man advantage this time. Exactly. Even better of a situation for RU Legends. It's going to take Boss again quite a bit of time to get in position here. So they need to be very quick. I think the time sort of started to get the better of them. And they did just choke out that last round, even with the numbers advantage. Yep. Just keep your eyes on that bomb timer ticking away. Less than 20 seconds, really, by the time Boss fully commit to the site. Yeah. It doesn't leave much room for error. And there is certainly a couple as Trike able to get two kills. Stray another. And this round just falling by the wayside for Boss. It's all on Lucas to try and clutch it out, but he just doesn't have the time to make this one work at all. Four seconds left on that bomb. Eventually, it goes the way of Treek with three kills in the round, but are you legend? That one looked like a pretty easy victory. Absolutely. I was going to say that was, in every way, in every way, a little bit too easy for are you legends. They kill Shady. They walk onto the B site without a problem. 
And well, now they're going to mix it up and go back towards that heavy A presence. And this is, just happens to be the round that Boss have only got three players there for once. Let's see what happens here. See how this round unfolds. See if Boss can claw one back while RU Legends are sitting on match point. Oh, XLR will take the peak. Two players there to deal with, and that's one too many. Rita and Ali stepping up this time for Boss as Ali once again will find a 3k. What a huge round out from Boss. Damn. Absolutely wiping the floor with uh, Ru Legends. <laughs> that was a little bit too easy, wasn't it? Yeah. Girl? So, okay, RU Legends, though, are afforded a couple of those rounds, aren't they? At the end of the day, you get that lead. You can take a couple more risks. Yep, that's fine. Only seven up for Boss, so not too far for RU Legends still to have to worry about. Wow, what a shot. Kale goes down. That's the perfect start to a round, especially when you're on match point. So much pressure now on Boss and still a uh, lot of time for RU Legends. You can see Boss are just putting all their eggs in one basket constantly here, trying to get a read on RU Legends. They've rotated across to B. There's nobody there yet, so now they're going on the hunt together as a team. Like a pack of wolves waiting until they can come up on RU Legends. But RU Legends are ready for it. I don't know how ready they are. Trace only able to trade one back. Treek, a great shot. And continues to try and peek further forward with the pistol. Doesn't manage to get the kill. Exuar knows where the C4 is. Knows he wants to take control of it. But it's really Stray that might just win this map now for RU Legends. Well, he's waiting for Exuar. So it is a two-on-one situation instead of consecutive 1v1s. Lucas now with a lot of work to do. Has to keep his team alive here at CFS 2018. The weight of... Really, your entire team on your shoulders now. The team, more like the country. And that too. They have a team already knocked out, so... No pressure, Lucas. Let's see what Lucas can do. The last vestige of hope for Vietnam. Chasing him down. Might be able to get the timing here if he's a little bit quick. He spotted one. Doesn't quite land the shots. That's such a crucial miss. <laughs> oh, you got to feel for him right now. The post-plant positioning, if they are able to get the bomb down. Worst thing is, he's given away his position as well, but are you legends? They're taking the scenic crew. No way. Going all the way over to B. Might give him another chance, actually, if he can get this rotate quickly. Well, he's called it as well. He's onto it. The bomb hasn't been planted quick enough. He knows it's B now. Now the trouble is he's got so many places to check here. Yeah. The teamwork for RU Legends in this 2v1 situation, it's almost unbeatable. He'd have to go absolutely ballistic. Well, Lucas just having a look at the bomb site, sees yep. where the bomb is planted. Yep. Knows that it is planted for the position that IU Legends are holding, so he's going to have to explore a little further, but needs to put the pedal to the metal. 15 seconds here. Lucas, he's done it! He's going to hold on for Vietnam. They're still alive. Wow. If that doesn't shut them up, nothing will. IU Legends, the round, the opportunity to get out of this game just goes begging. Oh, you can see Boss breathing a very big sigh of relief there. Jeez. Nerves of steel for Lucas. The one-man army. Oh, boss. Chance now for them to continue to push on forward. Lucas, Shady and Kale all what? managing to find uh, some frags. And Exuar keeps it go. alive. Overtime, huh? I think so. Took a little while for the scoreboard to update, but it <laughs> looks like... Boss seem to be aware of what's going on. Shady wants that long-range high-five, unable to get it. Admin's put him back in his seat. Oh, you legends have gone quiet, though. That last round, what a throw. Maybe a little bit tilted after losing that two versus one. Oh, yeah, I mean, that was a chance gone begging for are you legends. Damn. They are looking a bit more distraught than they were earlier on, that's for sure. It could be worse. They could be out of the tournament. Not yet. They could still be. Well, Boss with a bit of a comeback train. We've got to look on the bright side. I mean, who does this really favour now? The momentum certainly is with Boss. And you can hear, they, they, I mean, look, the Boss guys. I don't know if this favours them, Jordan. A second bite at the cherry. They were the better team on the, uh, on the offence, I would say. Mm. And their defence was a lot stronger. The rounds that they did win, they were very uh, one-sided, weren't they? Ali yep. getting those 3Ks. So, uh, look. If I'm RU Legends, I go towards B a lot more in this overtime on my attack. And for my defense, really got to stop that aggro stuff they were doing towards the A site. Didn't net them much at all. When they played 
further back, a bit more passive, allowed Boss to come to them. That's when they were able to get a lot of work done, but... Maybe play a bit more reactively rather than proactively on the defense for IU Legends. Yeah. Lots to think about by the looks of things. Yeah, a bit of discussion on Reset both everything points. up by the looks of it, but... I mean, to be so close to getting out of this game, really putting Boss away. Is it 9-6 at one point? Yeah. And then to let them come back three rounds in a row, especially that 1v2, Jordan. Cracking under the pressure. Yeah, absolutely. Think. That's all it could be. I said that 1v2 was almost unwinnable. Needed a miracle. Well, Lucas got it. Boss definitely seeming in good spirits. Now we're looking for four for either side. If not, if it's 3-3, we go through the golden round. Treek does spot Kale. Good start to the overtime for IU Legends. XY with a little bit of aggression again, and it's IU Legends that are pushing on forward. Okay. The two for one overall. You'll be happy with that. Yeah, a little bit over the top from IU Legends, losing an extra player unnecessarily. Lucas quite sharp today. Back on the sniper. Kale, he was really the man for them in their opening matches. Slow and steady. Boss heading towards B for once. See if they can uh, walk in, play that contact style that was working so well for IU Legends. Vice sitting far back on the B site, while the other three remaining IU Legends players over towards A. No aggression, not yet. Maybe with the sign of some action towards B, you'll see Vice call for reinforcements. This position we saw Treek have so much success for yeah. IU Legends from. It's just not worth even peeking that window, to be honest. No. <laughs> oh, well, they're in B. It's not ideal for IU Legends. The jig is up, though. They're rotating across. Shady with good positioning. Yes. Kale needs to get that C4 down. There it is. Well, Luke is still looking for anybody on the rotation, but IU Legends have not given him the opportunity, so his effectiveness now in this round diminished quite extensively as IU Legends will start to push into the side and Treek around the back does catch Lucas off guard. Now a 2v4 and still a lot of time for IU Legends to play with. There's another kill for Treek. And it's Kale to try and hold off the army of IU Legends, but it's just too much. First round of overtime will go the way of IU Legends. Interesting to see the reaction from the IU Legends players getting around on the defensive side. It might just, uh, like I said before, put some wind back into their sail. Especially after that crushing clutch loss. Okay, well, let's see. Let's keep moving, though. Boss, go back to their old tricks. Three players towards a site early on. Treek, see if he can catch Ali this time. Both teams now know each other's game almost inside out. After already having played the entire map in regulation... Just need two more rounds. I think it's quite a bit of a change up from Boss in particular on their attacking side. They yep. haven't been putting as much presence toward A. They certainly haven't been throwing as much utility there. Well, the difference is also RE Legends aren't pushing A every round. Mm. So while they might be aware of their tendencies, it's, I think, a big change up actually for both teams. It's looking a lot better for RE Legends so far. Now, the problem is when the Vietnamese squad do their execute onto the A site, they're very vocal about it, very loud. There's a possibility that RU Legends now know the signs of uh, the communication from the Vietnamese squad. Yeah, perhaps pays to be a little quieter, maybe. Yep. When you're just sitting across from your opponent. Doesn't matter about uh, what language you, s you speak. Well, if you hear the same if sounds being repeated over and over again and the same thing keeps, keeps yep. happening, yep. put two and two together. And they can clearly hear each other when they're loud. So, definitely boss need to learn from that. Okay, they've cleared out the entire map now. The attacking side owns at least 50% of the map. Exua. He had a chance, but Lucas yep. will shut him down. 44 wow. seconds here for boss. That bit of information, not really necessary. Could cost boss to rotate back towards the B site. Treek in a great position to stop that. Yeah, gets Lucas, decides to back away playing... Well, there's only so far he can go with Ali coming up on his flank. Risk versus reward here for IU Legends. Another great shot out from Treek. One of the most impressive snipers that we've seen in this tournament. Putting it on display right now in the overtime. And there is one more. 
Why stop at one more? Let's go for another one, Tree. You can see what he can do. Eventually, he does get overwhelmed. Two players, too many. Still doable for Boss. Ten seconds left to plant. Yeah, he's certainly done his job. Great shot from Shady, though. On to Drace. Will allow the bomb plant to go down just in time. Contest there from Vice. And Shady can't help out against Rita. Cannot get the trade. It's a 2v1 for him, and he does take a long extended duel, and that is going to give the chance over to Stray. And now we see <laughs> RU Legends starting to get a little bit more excited. Yeah, they're back at it, aren't they? Two more rounds lead, and the war cry comes out. Teammates say, come on, maybe settle down. It's not over yet. Don't make him angry until after we've beaten them. Yep. It'll be interesting to see <laughs> how the handshake goes afterwards. Yeah, definitely. I think both teams wearing their hearts on their sleeves in this match. Oh no, are you legends a little bit cocky again? Well, they've decided to play it safely enough, allowing Boss the control of the positioning. There's a lot of players on this side of the map though for are you legends. Shriek starts off nicely once again. The sniper having the impact. Damage being done right now by Stray as well as Boss get harried on their way forward. You can see Boss now very committed to this A site. The C4 on the flank though. Waiting for that Exua push, perhaps, but not coming out so far for RU Legends. Everyone just happy to sit back. They've got that player advantage. Yeah, no need for them to do anything at this point. Well, three players on the A site. Very difficult site to defend. So the numbers there are almost on par with what Boss have. Boss, again, waiting, going for that patient play style. We're in overtime here, and they're still being very patient. Waiting for RU Legends to get aggressive. Shady throws a flash out toward middle. Try and bait something. Again, Exo are there. Solid as a rock. Not overcommitting. I think that's what RU Legends trick is to winning this defensive side. Don't overcommit. Play passive. Have faith in your systems and your crossfires. Treak now and stray. This is where it's going to be. Vice, Vice under the stairs. Wait for that war cry to come out from Vietnam. Dead shot out from Vice, a solid performer from IU Legends today. Holding the line for now, losing teammates. Uh, changing up his positioning, making it difficult for Boss to push on in. And he'll get two more! Great stuff from Vice! What a madman! And it's been shut down now by XUR 3-0 and zero in the first half there for IU Legends. Now you can get a little bit excited if you're IU Legends. Boss are going to be a little quiet. All smiles. Now you go over to the attacking side with three rounds already. You just need one more and you're on the favoured side. Yeah, and Boss are going to once again have to claw their way out of a pretty deep hole. They were able to do that in regulation time, but can they do it again, you know? You can't dig yourself out of a hole, Jordan, but you can bail out of a sinking ship. Mm. Not sure exactly what that means, Ian. Oh, <laughs> Boss need to do one of them. Boss needs to jump out of their ship. Yeah. No, no, they don't jump. Never mind. They want to bail. They want to bail. Yeah, yeah, buckets of water. Uh, you know what I think they should do is just take over Are You Legends' ship. Because <laughs> Are You Legends' ship seems to be going quite nicely at the moment. <laughs> With cannons. It's, yeah. every, it's not just a ship. It's like, it's everything. Well, no pressure on Are You Legends, you could say. Yet. Got a bit of breathing room. Yeah, not for now, at least. Back. Another two rounds here for Boss, and then, I don't know, we might be back to square one. Yeah, back to their old tricks, Stray, getting that map control on his own. Interesting to see if they do leave Shady over here towards B on his own, and they do again. Boss now leaving the four players on the A site. A lot of pressure on Shady. Oh, this is such a gamble. An absolute gambit by Boss. Yeah. Unbelievable. Shady again in the same position. We've seen Treak deal with uh, that position pretty easily in the past, but this yep. time yep. in a different direction. This is very typical of RU Legends on the attack. Just probing toward B and seeing what they can find. Not a whole lot there from Boss at the moment. So they will be able to progress on forward fairly safely. At this point, if you're, if you're RU Legends, you're just thinking, where are they? What's going on? It's too good to be true. Boss, so much faith in the retake. Well, here comes Stray. Throws a flash over to the A site to keep him there just a little bit longer. Bomb should start getting planted on XOR any time now. Just want to get everyone in good post-plant position since they've got free rain on the B site. Yeah. 
Oh, we've seen this before, Ian, and actually, Boss won the round. Well, it's, I'd say it's one apiece, right? We've oh, seen yeah. this a couple of times. Let's see if third time's a charm. Boss, Not impossible for Boss. For their tournament life. Stray could just shut it down if he gets two here, which he might just, but only the one. The trade's good enough from Boss. Still a two for one overall in IU Legend's favor, so they have the 4v3. Boss will have to try and make their way in with not a whole lot of time left, throwing as much utility out as they can before they really have to commit. Treek keeping them busy. It's one player left alive now for Boss. One player with the hopes of Vietnam left on his shoulders. Rita, and he won't be able to do it. Are you legends? 4-0 in the overtime. And that's 13-9 overall in the series. It's are you legends to put themselves through to the quarterfinals, but a very, very interesting map. Absolutely, and you can see the relief on are you legends face. They wanted to just get that game over and done with. I feel like they thought they were the better team the whole time. Yeah. They really got pushed to the limit by Boss. But a couple of questionable decisions by Boss, to be honest, on the defensive side was ultimately their undoing. Yeah, I, I definitely don't disagree. I think that IU uh, Legends coming into that would have felt like they're the better team. And throughout that matchup, they, I feel they looked like the better team. I think they could have closed that out a little bit quicker than what they did. Yeah. A couple of mistakes, a couple of uh, opportunities given yeah. over to Boss uh, that may have meant that went a little bit longer than it did, but you know, once we hit overtime, it really felt like a sure thing that RU Legends... I was going to say, you know, you'd want to think RU Legends have a lot of respect for their opponent right now, but, mm. you know, they really just, um, you know, they got out to such a good lead, and then Boss really showed up and got the overtime, and I think that's where you got to have some respect for them, and whether you're, if you're RU Legends and you're like, oh, we kind of gave that away, you know, we let that be that close. Not really. Boss did push you all the way. Yeah, Boss were yeah. right on your heels the whole time. There's definitely two ways that you can take that. I could understand how RU Legends may feel, hang on, maybe we let a few rounds there slip in the end, but uh, the moral of the story is here that you can't afford to do that. You're not always going to be yeah, an opportunity right. that when you get to overtime, you can 4-0 it out to get yourselves through across the line against literally any other team who's already qualified yep. into the quarters, that's not going to work. Yeah, definitely not. And that's a disappointing result, of course, for Boss and yeah. then for every team having been knocked out already. No more Vietnamese teams. So from a second place finish at the Grand Finals last year with every team being able to make their way through to the Grand Finals to now both teams being knocked out in groups is uh, quite a disparity. Yeah, it's definitely uh, not the result I think that Vietnam would have wanted this year. I think Boss still had quite a good showing. Yeah. Um, I think they should still be proud of how they went. I as think. would Treek. Yeah. Oh my goodness, on the arm. That <laughs> was um, impressive. <laughs> you can shots. see why he was screaming out. He was definitely feeling it. He was feeling hot. He had the game in his hands. And he, he really carried RU Legends across the, the line there against uh, an impressive Boss. Uh, but at the same time, look, I feel like a couple of questionable decisions by the defense uh, of Boss. And that, that was their undoing, really, because they, they had... Um, are you legends on their heels, like I said. Yeah, yeah, there's a couple of opportunities there, and well, in the end, it's going to be Rue Legends progressing through. Boss eliminated from CFS 2018. Though after all of that, and knowing who who is one, who the four teams are that potentially Rue Legends can go up against, I can't help but feel it's going to be a tough fight for them, Ian. I want to know if they were saving anything for that game, because it was a lot of rinse and repeat for both teams, mm. and I think that Are You Legends maybe were sitting on the, on the, on the uh, you know, sitting on in their seats going, look, we don't need to use everything right now. We'll get through this game. We'll get through boss. Don't worry about it. We'll keep it uh, up our sleeve, so to speak. And uh, when they come up against one of these uh, tougher opponents, I think maybe we'll see the real RU Legends form come through. Well, that's it. RU Legends are definitely capable of beating these other teams, but we do need to see the real RU Legends. Yeah, well, exactly. I, th I think we haven't really seen that throughout any of these matches so far. There's been quite a few. I mean, obviously, with the exception being of Jake Asav, that have been very close mm. results for RU Legends. So whether they're leaving something in the tank, it does remain to be seen. And Ben, because they come out of the same group as Carbon, it means yeah. they will go against the Chinese team. So yep. guaranteed. if there is any time to unleash the beast for RU Legends, I think it is going to be in that quarterfinal against whoever they do end up drawing into. Yeah, I, uh, best of one. You've got to you've got to give it all. You I, all. I think that game was very reminiscent of what we saw earlier in the day with the uh, the Super Valiant game, mm. where it was very close, got to overtime, and then Super Valiant went, okay, all right, we'll finish. This let's now. finish this. Yeah, I think that's what we just saw. So I'm looking forward to seeing RU Legends play later on against a tougher opponent. We take a look at the preview of Group B. You can see Carbon coming out undefeated as seed number one, and Rue Legends coming out after only having lost to the number one seed, and they're going to be the second seed in the group. And those are our two teams progressing from Group B here into CFS 2018 
quarterfinals, which are going to be kicking off tomorrow morning, Jordan. We still have two more teams to qualify through. I honestly don't know if I take a look at these next two matches, there isn't a standout team that I go, in these two games, these are the two teams who are guaranteed to go through. I think for me, I might disagree in a sense. I, I'm very much on the hype train of Penta Sports, but I think actually definitely for the next game, uh, it's a little bit more up in the air for me. So uh, we'll obviously have to discuss it when we do get there. But these next two matches, I think, are going to be just as interesting as the last two. We've had a 10-7, we've had a 13-9, and hopefully the next two are going to be exciting. Let's go to Matt on the stage. Boss, unfortunately, are out here now at the group stages. So congratulations on your spot in the quarterfinals. During that game, before it got to overtime, there was a lot of uh, energy from RU Legends. There was some standing up. There was some shouting across the stage. Were they trying to get under Boss's skin or were they just letting all the kind of passion out? Во время игры вы очень uh, сильно кричали друг на друга. Uh, что это было? Такой выплеск эмоций, может, какой-то? Uh, ну, да, так мы выплескиваем свои эмоции, нам так легче играть. Uh, when they are playing, uh, it's uh, all emotions uh, and uh, it needed for them. For them. Yes. It works, gets you the win. Uh, are they happy and are you happy with your team's performance so far, given that before this tournament, many people picked you as one of the favorites? Как во время подготовки, какие твои лучшие команды были на данном турнире? It was a really close game against Carbon. But you did lose that, which is why you're fighting your way out of the groups now. So are they happy with that game? I think Penta Sports was. Penta, Penta was. They think uh, that Penta Sports uh, was a strong team in this tournament. Okay. And in their games today and yesterday against Carbon, for example, are they happy with the performance that they gave there? Are you happy with how your team has been playing in the games so far? Is there anything you would do differently? Довольны ли вы своей игрой а, и что будете делать дальше? Ну, мы планировали сыграть лучше, нам не повезло, но после просмотра записи мы как бы видели, что им просто везло очень сильно. Все. Ничего не будем делать дальше. А дальше ну, готовимся к следующему игру. They will training uh, to the next games uh, and uh, he told about uh, uh, yesterday uh, lose about yesterday lose um, and uh, he think uh, that uh, um, it was a bad play for them uh, and uh, it was unlucky day okay. okay are you legends through to our quarterfinals we'll find out who they're going to play in our tournament draw which will happen at the end of today before that we go to our next game after this short break, Latin America against the Philippines for the final spot out of Group C. So don't go anywhere. That one's coming up next and we'll see more of them tomorrow.